One of the main problems I had with JJK Season 2 was the story was unfocused and unrealistic. But the Shibuya incident fixed most of those problems. For one thing, it turns out Gojo can't just do whatever he wants. He actually has to restrain himself in order not to kill every single civilian around him. And that ultimately leads him into being trapped in the prison realm. Finally, we understand that there is a way to temporarily suppress Gojo. And it's not some BS thing that one person does. It took an entire team of cursed spirits Spirits, cursed users, and freaking the possessed body of Gato to pull off this giant plan. Yes, I do like the way they handled Gojo being sealed. Next, the plot got a lot better in the Shibuya incident, considering how everyone's power scaling was much more defined than in the past. Basically, Gojo is at the very top, while there are a handful of sorcerers that are capable of handling fake Gato's top henchmen. Then the Jujutsu High kids can assist in the fighting. I must say that Fushiguro really really is becoming one of the better characters in JJK, and I predicted that in my Fushiguro analysis video. His fight with that upper and lower limit damage guy was crazy. He told Itadori that he already figured out his technique within minutes of meeting him. It's also fair to say that Itadori has progressed in strength as well as overall adeptness in battle. I think Fushiguro even says that in the fight. I also received a lot of pushback from my previous JJK season 2 video, and I have relented somewhat on my third point about Rico's death being superfluous. In JJK, people just freaking die sometimes, and they can be brought back somewhat. However, I shouldn't be surprised when a character dies unexpectedly, because that is the theme of the show. It's dying at any time while hopefully you lead a life without regret. Like those two girls that Sukuna just sliced their heads clean off? Yeah, I did not expect that, and it makes more sense now that I understand literally anyone can die. I don't necessarily agree with unjustified character deaths, but I think this anime purposefully makes shocking deaths because it wants to convey the seriousness and realness of the consequences of these characters. Sukuna being an absolute force of nature was kind of thrilling. I did not expect him to be unleashed like this so early on in this anime, but it was quite exciting to see him dismantle and obliterate all of his opponents with ease. Even Fushiguro's trump card was manhandled by Sukuna. This isn't even his most powerful form either, and Gojo said that he could beat him, so hopefully we get some kind of fight between those two. That would be cool. The Shibuya incident presented us with impressive animation, large-scale battles, and a resurgence of Toji Fushiguro, who was just insane to watch wreak havoc on everyone. There's a lot to say about this whole incident and how the aftermath will change the landscape of this anime from now on, but overall, it was a very interesting and compelling arc to watch. I think it made JJK more focused in terms of the plot, and it explained a lot of things that really needed clarification. Now we just have six more episodes of season two to go.